Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we are back. Let's play Mystical Ninja, starring Gomon on the Nintendo 64. Last time, we managed to uh, spend a whole lot of time getting a super jumping ability for uh, for uh, Sasuke, and then we got cheap skated into buying a cucumber so we could get the last miracle item to, well, I think go beat the game. It's a real bastard move on their part, but oh well. Anyway, so let's go find out where exactly we got to take these four miracle items by going to the guy that's been very helpful on our journey, Mr. Pulasma himself. That guy's actually very useful, so we're going to go talk to him and see what he says. He's actually been very helpful throughout the whole, the whole journey by actually giving us useful hints. I mean, like, I, like the fortune teller in Okami... Not so useful. The fortune teller here, much more useful. Then again, there was only one fortune teller in uh, Okami, and she was kind of out of the way, so that kind of didn't help. This guy's kind of in... I don't remember where all his uh, locations are, but at least we can warp back to him reasonably fast. Alright, we need to go over this way. Yes, indeedy. And he always gives decent advice. It's not like, oh, go to a random region and do something. He actually says, go here, do this, there you go. He's well worth the 10 bucks, even if I only have 30 left. Alright, buddy. Go to the Stone Circle of Ugo, which you will find to the west of Mount Fear. From there, you can get on the Altar Plasma. At that point, the entrance to Outer Space, Outer Space, will open. Okay, so we got to go to Outer Space. That's uh, kind of cool, I guess. But where the fuck is uh, Ugo in Mount Fear? Honestly, I'm not sure. So we have to <laughs> try to figure this out. Okay, so. Festival Village, no. Ghost Toys Castle, no. Eo, Izumo, no. Kopiros, Folky Poke, Festival, Key, Sazen, Kai, Transform, Oedo. Um, you know what? I don't remember where Mount Fear is, so I'm going to do something that involves looking up where the fuck to go here. Uh, let's see. Um... Warp to Festival Village and then go to Mutsu Shoreline. Okay, so Festival Village. All right, before I, I'm, I'm not like trying to like read the guide to like find out places to go. I just don't know where the fuck Fear Lake was, so that's all it is. Uh, let's see. Let me see something real fast. Uh, All right, so we have to go to Festival Village, and I'm shutting down the page that tells me where to go because I don't think I'll need it for the castle and outer space, which apparently is the last outer thing we got to do. I'm probably not going to find the rest of the uh, golden cat, stat or cat statues and jumping things because, well, I don't remember where they all are. Th frankly, my enjoyment of the game is being hampered by this bastardly controller. Okay, so let's figure out where we got to go here. We got to go to somewhere. It said Mutsu Coast or Mutsu Coast or something like that. I'm assuming it's going to be around here. And you know what? Let's go back to the midget just because he has the jumping ability now. See, I thought it was a double jump. I didn't think it was a little... Rocket Blast. Okay, Mutsu. Okay. Mutsu Mount Fear. I guess we've been here before. I just didn't remember it. And... I'm assuming it's through here. Alright, Mutsu Shoreline. And then we have to go to the Circle Altar or something like that. 
I'm guessing it's through there, right? There is a gate located underwater. To open this, you must press the red button. Oh yeah, we already did that part. Okay, so apparently those paper cranes are trying to dive bomb me, and that's not cool, but we'll manage, I hope. Oh, here we go. Do you wish to save the game to this point in your adventure diary? Ah, I saved a few minutes ago. We should be good. There you have all the necessary miracle items. We are now going to outer space. So this thing's going to turn into a rocket or what? Pimo Pimo God. I am the Pimo Pimo God. Let me warn you that once you go to outer space, you may never be able to return. Pimo Pimo God, will you still go? Yes, indeed. It's a good thing I saved before this. That's nice. I commend you for your courage. Yeah, I'm assuming this is the last part of the game here, because if they're telling me, hey, point of no return, then I'm assuming this is the, uh, well, the last. Gorgeous Music Castle. And yep, there's no way to get out of here. Okay, uh, the Lords of Waiting are trying to, the Lords of Kill Me here. Uh, I heard something. I don't know what it was, but I heard something. Was it just them dying? Probably. Either that or this door opened. I don't. I don't know. Hey, hey lots of stuff. I like it. Let's see anything up here? Kinda. Or not. Okay. Apparently we cannot go up there. Uh, let's see. There's a door right there. There is the only door we can go through. Okay, so let's go through the door that we can only go through. This does not look good. Okay, I see all sorts of stuff that we gotta do here. So Actually, this isn't too bad. It's just uh, probably looks worse than it is. Okay, I don't care about the golden chopstick or the golden doubling because we have full health, so we're good. Come on, have a key, have a key, have a key. Not another locked door, I said a key. Okay, that works too. Yeah, apparently they're going to make us work for that gold key, I guess. Okay, they're giving us a shit ton of golden dumplings in this place. Like, many, many golden dumplings. That oh, there's the gold key. Like, seriously, that's three in three rooms. That's like a record right there. Four in three rooms. I guess they want to make sure... I guess, I guess they want to make sure we don't die in here or something. Okay, that's not quite what I'm trying to do here, but... Yeah, even then, we didn't take that much damage right there. Okay, so... Golden Dumpling number... 2 is used. But luckily they respawn, so that's nice. Alright, hurry up there, dude. There we go, very nice. And you know what? I don't even care, we can burn ourselves for a few seconds here. Alright, now we just gotta make it back to the first room without taking too much damage here. Yeah, we're doing okay though, we're not taking one heart of damage, that's not too bad. Oh, we don't need to go that way, do we? We need to go this way. Let me see if I can't... There you go. That's what I was trying to do. Okay, that's not quite what I was looking for. I was looking for the door. But I'm not sure where the door is. So... 
Alright, you know what? Let's just kill you guys, because I don't know where the fuck I'm going here. I don't think this is it, is it? No? This is something different. Okay, it's... A snowmaker machine, I guess. Huh, this is a weird area. I'm not sure how I missed it earlier, but okay. Okay, this is like trying to kill me, like, and it's doing a very good job, actually. Oh, okay, that's pretty cool. Did that guy just, like, blow a wind at me? Oh, flame. For some reason, I thought he was like, doing, like, a... Like a storm-based attack or something. That would have been pretty cool. I guess just the sound effect of the... <sighs> made it seem like it was a... Uh, Wind-based attack, I guess. They're giving health up the ass in this area. Like, it's ridiculous in a good way. I see Mr. Elephant. Assuming I can get up there. There we go, and another door, okay. Alright, we have access to the map. I'm assuming it's going to be a very long map. Go away, dude. Oh! Only two floors? That's not very big, actually. I guess it won't be that big, but you know what? Let's go to, uh... Go on here. And Super Saiyan this thing out of the, our way. Ooh, gold key, okay. I didn't even notice that over there. I just saw that the block needed to be moved, and I wasn't sure what we were supposed to do with it. Alright, what's over here? What's, what is over here? Anything good? Anything useful? Anything awesome? Besides that, okay, that's not quite what I was going for, but... That's cool, I guess. Whatever it does. Oh, that's a wall! I thought that was like another area to go to, okay. Alright, let's see what's in here, since we're down here. We still have our our rice ball in case we do die, which isn't looking very likely at this point. Where the hell am I? I am... somewhere. Ooh, I see a cat, st a cat statue. Not that it's gonna make too much of a difference because, well, we don't have a, uh, I don't think there's I don't I don't think they're gonna give us four silver cat statues in here, so I'm not really too worried about that actually. But I guess I could get it just to just to have it, I guess. Okay, that's uh you know what? You're not worth the time, so I'm just gonna ignore you. The cat statue's not worth it, screw it. We know where it is, in case we ever decide to come back for it, which probably not. Oh, this, that's that's all that went to. So that that was the. Uh... You know what? Let's just go back that way then, because there was the uh... the door right there, I guess. Oh, we have to go that way. Okay, never mind. So we had to go this way. Okay. I'm still not going after the cast statue because it's still not worth it, but it's a good thing I looked over here, otherwise I might have been confused. There is a lot of, uh... Wow, there's another cat statue. Maybe they will give us four cats in here. I don't know. Fine, I'll go back for it. You talked me into it. Did I see something up there to, that we could jump up to? For some reason, I thought I, I thought I saw an opening up there. 
All right, where's the cat statue? It's uh. Ah, oh, there it is. So it's to our left. Camera, work to my advantage, please. Thank you. Ah, there it is. There we go. Very nice. Alright, go away. quite what I was planning on there, but oh well. I kind of like the, the folding fan mechanic here. I would like it even more if my controller worked, but that's besides the point. Get up there, dude. I'd be surprised if they actually put four cat statues in here. That'd be nice. Who knows, maybe they'll put four silver and a gold on it. That'd be unlikely, but cool. It looks like they're going to make us use everybody's abilities in here, so that's also very nice. Alright, so there's a golden key that we need. And something else up here, too. Okay, we'll have to get up there eventually, I guess, but not right now. See, I, it looks like there's something up there, but I can't tell. Oh, there is something up there. Okay. All right, so let's go up here first. Can I even go in here? No. Oh, is that all that is? Is a uh, is a fat chick factory? Okay, I'm not sure what that did, but okay. Oh, it made stairs. Okay, that's nice. All right, we'll go up there in just a minute. Let's turn it to a tubby here. Okay, I see a key. And this room looks so weird. The wall makes it seem like it's going to another area, but you're not. It's just the way the wall is. Alright, I hope I don't have to reactivate the stairs. And Yeah, I have to reactivate the stairs. Oh well. Not like it's even that big of a deal, but okay. Actually, do I gotta reactivate the stairs? I have the gold key, right? Yep, I have the gold key. The gold key's down here. So when we come back with the special key or whatever key that is, then we have to worry about the stairs. Okay, very nice. What the fuck hit me? Oh, that. What is that? Oh, these guys. There we go. Easy enough. Not seeing any hidden cat statues. You think they'd be hidden in plain sight? They always like doing that. Uh, I'm not sure what you are, but you look dangerous to my health, so I'm just gonna assume. Come on, up, up, up. Okay. Okay, it's uh not quite what I was going for there, but okay. So this is more of a balancing act than anything. And you know what? You're really not that great for this, so let's just go uh, with somebody that is. And I guess I could use the, uh, the jetpack or whatever, but this doesn't... 
There we go. Alright. And we gotta go over there for something. Not sure what's over there, but it's something. You son of a bitch. You know what? Let's go back to the little midget anyway. It's just... Okay. I was going to say just for his little... Uh, rocket jump, but... It might not even be useful. It might be useful. It might not. Yeah, it works out a little bit, I guess. Saves you about the whole ten seconds. Maybe even two or three. Yeah, that's, that's pretty useful, actually. So let's get on this guy. Or not. There we go. Try not to get too fast here. Son of a bitch. I like the the objects in the room, just not the fact that I suck at it. Okay, we're almost there, we're almost there. What the heck? I ah god damn it dude, I jumped. Just try to stay on there. It didn't really work. What the hell? Controller? You're fucking me up again. Okay, I was facing the wrong way because my controller decided I didn't want to face the other way despite pressing the button, but oh well. Dude! Why do you insist on facing down? Why can't you face up? Like... Not once has facing down helped me in anything at all. Come on, there you go. Alright. Stop it. Stop it. Ah, you fucking pile of shit controller. I hate you with a fucking passion. I really do. Alright, okay. Let's actually try to make it... Dude! Okay, that one is, like, ridiculously hard to stay on for some reason. I don't know why. It's exactly the same as all these other ones, but for some reason you just can't stay on it for some reason. Dude! Ah, you son of a bitch. He turned around just as I pressed the fucking magic button. What the hell? Alright, there we go. God damn it. Okay, that was some bullshit right there. I don't know what the fuck happened. Okay, there we go. Thank you. Are you fucking serious? I finally make it up there and I fall off the fucking ledge. Are you serious? At least I know how to get over there nice and easy. Just rocket boost from... Uh, from that first step. Get up there, you fucking little shit.
All right, come on, let's do this. Nice. What the ah? They really need to let you use the fucking magic when you're moving. Cause that's just. You forget that you can't use it when you're moving, so you press it while you're moving, and it gets you all fucked up. And no, oh, you know, we can't. We, you can't use your magic when you're moving, cause for some fucking reason. What the hell, dude? And what is turning is gonna is, is turning into a mermaid while you're fucking swimming forward really gonna make fucking the area you're in that much fucking easier? No. God damn it! <sighs> that was lucky. All right, come on over here, dude. Can't even see the key over there with the draw distance of the uh, N64, but oh well. All right, come on over here. All right, don't you dare fall off. Finally, geez, that room took forever and a half. Let me look over here just to make sure there's no hidden items or anything that we might have missed somehow. Nope, I'm not seeing anything. Alright, so now we gotta go reactivate the uh, stairs and go up. Okay. And I think that's gonna be pretty much the uh, end of the area. Nothing to see, nothing to see, and our special key. Alright, make sure nothing to jump up to. Nope, okay, good. Okay, waves, that's uh, expected, obviously. Seahorse down there? I think it is. Yeah, we're gonna have to turn it into a. Damn it! Alright, go down. And let's kill you. Kill you. There you go. I'm assuming I gotta kill all of you. Or maybe not, actually. Down, girl. Down. Up, 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 and no more mermaid. Up. There you go. Okay, where the heck is this? What the fuck? The fuck are you? You're deadly with a rose is what you are. Come on, get off me. Rose, get off. Rose, dude, go away. Okay, apparently those roses are highly deadly and highly contagious. And what the hell is that? Okay, let's uh, see what this is first before we go over there. Huh, it must be like, uh, it must be like the town that they uh, stole away, kind of. When I woke up in the morning, the town looked so different. Well, it doesn't really matter to me, because you're a kid. The Peach Mountain musical is on twice a day at 1 and 5 p.m. It's always the same content, but I keep on seeing it anyways. Is it just that good? Is that what it is? This is where Sogantown of Beeson used to be. 
It's become so strange it makes you want to yell. It's nothing like Kaiushu. How much is this uh, fish uh, rice ball here? 200. I'm assuming that revives you to full. But I'm not too worried about it. Dude, you and your... You and your Roses of Doom. Okay, I wonder what this is. This is... Oh, a save point. Okay, that works. This area is terrible for business. Nobody comes here. I should just give up being a merchant and become a musical star. Nah, you're fine being a merchant, dude. I saw Peach Mountain and Shogun's musical yesterday as well. Dancing is just great. He was kind of a... Uh, Weird when I saw him, but okay. Our Sogan town has become what it is now in an instant. I've got no idea how we're going to be able to manage from now on. Well, just do what you got to do, I guess. Go away, flower. I don't like you. Go, go away, dude. Screw you. Okay, let's go for that homing shot. There you go. Those fucking roses are real bastards. Go away, dude. Go away. I'm assuming this might be like an armor shot. Not that I have any money for it, but okay. Yeah, armor. Ho, 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 ho. Why are you cackling? How's my invitation? Don't I sound just like... Who the fuck is Kitty Lily? All the young women seem to be going to the Peach Mountain musical quite often. I wonder if it's the same... Well, I don't think there is the musicals in other towns. Hey, it's Omitsu. I guess Gomon has a crush? Either that or he's just really glad she's okay. Their instant stage beam's power has increased. Yeah, because last time I think they just, like, what, vaporized the castle? Or not vaporized, but, like, took over a castle. Oh, Lily was that one crazy chick. Okay, never mind. Behind the door is right ahead of us, but the door is rigid and cannot be opened easily. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow the door down. What are you going to do, like fart on it or something? Someone who could help us. Who's that? I'm sure he's at the restaurant. Uh, I'm sure we can find the person who can help us at the restaurant. Okay, where's the restaurant? Hello, you're fat. And you take two hits. You take two hits from a big sword. Okay, die. Die. There you go. Okay, that's not where we can... Okay, where the fuck is the restaurant then? You know what? Let's go to a beast tomorrow. That way, if we do encounter any enemies, we can uh, try to get health out of them. Okay, that's not the restaurant. Maybe this is? Ah, okay. I'm assuming it's this guy with the white beard, since, well, white beards always equal power in Japan. Hey, wise man, there we go. It's your old man, wise man. Yeah, I thought you were a ghost like the last time we saw you. Yeah, we don't gotta worry about uh, plot inconsistencies. Let's just go with the flow. You gave them the robots in the stage beam, you son of a bitch? 
A muscle car poster and five car magazines. Are you serious, dude? You strongly resist bullshit. If they kidnapped you, what reason do they have to blow up your home? Oh, he didn't know they blew it up. Okay. He thought he thought they were actually uh gotta not do that. Well, he seems mad. Okay, what are you going to do to my weapons? Are you going to make them, like, diamond or something? Ooh, level three. Nice. Nice. We got extra powerful weapons. It's a shame no one else gets, like, a hold-down power-up here. But either way, they're all... I'm guessing it's going to just, like, kill everything in, like, one hit here. Uh, let's see. Do I have enough for... Let's see. Round noodles. Restore. How much? Three points. Ah, eh, screw that. Uh, how about the... Shampoo noodles. Lots of vegetables. Lots of seafood. Five points. Eh. Sure, why not? Not like I'm going to use my money for anything else anyways. Alright, looks like the uh, door up here will take us to the, uh, ooh, nice, one hit. I like it. Looks like the door up here will take us to the final boss. But you know what? We're going to go ahead and do that next time so we can watch the credits and everything in one video. So, guys, I want to thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Have a good night.